Uh, my name is Michael Bears, and, and I'm an American artist, and I live in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And uh, allegedly, I make scenes, <laughs> art scenes. <laughs> yes. Though, but potentially other things as well. Yeah, so, other type of publications, um, yes. like newspapers. Uh, yes, form. newspapers, so tabloid style, mm -hmm. un, uh, unbound tabloids. I've done that. I've done mm -hmm. uh, some. Uh, Offset books, or mm -hmm. like small books, but uh, and I have done zines. Those the things that you uh, were that you got and thought of the zines were actually the first two comics that I made mm -hmm. back in two thousand four. Mm -hmm. So that was the really where I started, and it was also of course because a, a zine is. Uh, is easily produced mm -hmm. and uh, democratic for. Uh, so, so those two zines that I have, um, yes. they are produced uh, on demand when you need them. Yeah, I mean, I have a a little like box of them, a small mm -hmm. cardboard box of them. And yes, and they are potentially produced on demand. But I mean, I have a kind of master. I have the digital master, and then you just mm -hmm. make them. Out. And and this this you produce uh, yourself, whereas yes. the other ones uh, maybe you didn't produce uh, them yourself. Well, I mean, for a long time I was making these uh, tablet newspaper works when mm -hmm. I was asked by an institution. So mm -hmm. it's when there was a support to make them and mm -hmm. support for a, a project mm -hmm. potentially. Yeah, uh, and then you know the way that uh, that. At least my career has gone is like to uh, kind of be adapting to the different uh, possibilities. So at some point, especially after 2008, when there was um, less money perhaps floating around, there were less invitations to make these new mm. works. Uh, uh, and then uh, I was already making works for publications, some shorter works. And in 2011, I made a collection of shorter, the shorter works for publications mm. that I've made in the preceding five years. And um, what kind of material can you can we find in, in your publications? Uh, it's, I mean, it's really varied now because, I mean, last year I produced a, or I finished a, a graphic novel that was like 600 pages and that was an oral history documentary mm -hmm. that was uh, about this uh, exhibition called Picasso in Palestine that took place in Ramallah, so it was like a very, that was a very uh, factual, uh, long-range work, and but I've also done smaller things, but they tend to be kind of essayistic. Mm -hmm. uh, my attempt to uh, kind of adapt the comic form to some art discourse mm -hmm. and to a kind of diaristic form of writing. And so, are they? Do they exist both in the art world, or in the art world, and in the comic world, or are they more directed toward the art world? They they are more directed towards the art world. I mean, increasingly see this as a problem mm. but on the other hand I mean I don't find there's not so many people I found who are working uh, I mean addressing using a, uh, a particular discourse that I'm using and I mean it's very hard to try to find a kind of middle ground in terms of uh, idiomatic use of language that you can uh, speak to a broad audience but still speak very precisely, perhaps about kind of art slash philosophical things. That's been a challenge.